What's going on everybody? And welcome to Vivid Collectibles. My name is Danny and tonight I'm going to bring you my review finally again of my Prime, my Prime 1 Studios cover art Jungle Predator. This is a one quarter scale statue and we're going to go back to that point later on. So this has been out for a little while as well. One that was initially announced way back when. I think it was also announced when I got the Red Sonia. If I'm not mistaken, I saw it in that same video by It's Cisco way back when, and I was like, wow, this thing is amazing, right? The prototypes are always going to be amazing. But just the concept in general really drew me in. The Predator is such an iconic monster design. That's why it's been around for so long. It's now got a huge comic book following, which I've recently learned that. And of course, several movies, including the most recent one, Cold Prey, which was actually pretty good. So growing up in the 70s and 80s, right? I love the Predator. It was it's probably still easily my favorite monster design. I wanted a statue. I got the King Predator by XM Studios first, and I still felt like I really needed that definitive movie-like predator, right, that I sort of grew up with. So this one did it for me. Again, it's quarter scale, but it's bigger than my third scale by XM. I'm gonna do a separate video one day comparing those two. So, I want to give you some details on this, give you some close-ups. This came with four portraits. You have three switch-outs. This is the one that mostly resembles the movie. So this one has a light-up, like the uh, cannon here. Uh, I think this one is the closed mandible one, which is all, also nicely done. And this being the comic book one, and obviously the open mouth one there. All four are good. I didn't need the comic one. It doesn't matter to me. The dreads are done really nicely on them. The statue is very nice overall. So now I'm going to give you my thoughts and what I like and don't like about this. What I think could have been better and my overall thoughts on this statue. So stay tuned for that. Alright, so I'm going to start by giving you a 360 look of this humongous quarter scale piece. As you can see, he's got vegetation all the way around. He's standing on a piece of rock. The rock is amazing. It's actually a very detailed rock. He's got a couple skulls surrounding it. There's a lot of stuff going on on the base. So let's get right to that base. You can get a good look at the three different portraits right there. We'll go over those again. So here's your sub base. Nice rock, right? With some uh, trophies there, some bones, things of that nature. He is a hunter. He's always killing stuff. So again, look at the nice trees, right? Surrounding this stone like The stone is really, really nicely done. It's got a nice gray to it. And then you have all of this, you know, trees and roots surrounding it. They're also done very, very well. As far, nothing to really complain about as far as the stonework, the paintwork on that, the nice textures. You know, look at the water. It's a clear resin. It's unbelievable. Some of the best water I've ever seen. Then you have some blood there and that uh, dog tag, really nicely done. Look at that, more uh, skulls from different animals, this big foot. But the stonework is nice, it's a nice gray, weathered gray with some great textures. You see some moss around there and this really poorly done scorpion, but you're not going to really see it that well. But look at the bones, again look at that water, it, it just has that really nice water effect it looks great bones and again that dog tag and of course you have the vegetation all the way around it so each of these plants come separate and you have to insert them into the base you can do it however you want to they do give you instructions it is a real pain to do but i managed to do it it's the best it's going to get for me because i'm not spending a lot more time on that but look at the uh trees look at how nice that is look at the greens it looks very real. Then you have this snake. It's like a nice green to it. It's okay. It's just kind of there. So we move up a little further into that base. Again, more of that great trees right there. Some of those roots. And as I was mentioning, look at the stonework and look at those rocks. Really, really great work on those rocks. Very, very realistic. A really nice base with a lot going on so on the top of the base 
I have chosen to put these skulls in there. Let me tell you something about these skulls. They're easily the best skulls I've ever seen on any statue. They're weighty, they're pretty heavy, but look at the level of detail. I mean, the teeth, every little crevice looks real. And each of them is different. So they have like, you know, you have, you see how like it was killed, right? So slashed across the head. Then you have another one down there. I don't want to drop these. So another one right there on the base with a hole in the top of the head. Each of them is different. Each of them is immaculately painted. There's three more that I put back in the box that I have no intentions of using because it's part of the switch else, which is a hand that can hold a uh, mesh bag that's full of skulls. I really don't care for it. It's okay. It's nice having options. But for me, I like him holding the severed skull and spine. So I got to put a stop to that so it's not spinning. We can continue to move up. So here's the back leg, right? Very nice detail. Good work. The nails are awesome. The paintwork is great. I see all the wrinkles, right? You have some of the leather straps for his sandals. They look nice. Very, very nicely done. And then his armor, of course. Weathered, that weathered look. It's almost like a very dull, dirty, like just metal finish. Some of those leather straps, right? And then you have the mesh that's a theme with this Predator throughout. Nice armored boots. Again, with a lot of wear and tear. And then those legs with that mesh. Some more armor around them. And then that like leather, it's like a kilt, I guess you can call it. Very nicely done. It looks great. That belt, some pouches. And then he has that belt buckle in the front. Again, the mesh is done nicely. It fits perfectly. And it looks good. It looks like it belongs. Look at the uh, weathering on the boots. The paint applications are really good on this statue. The only thing that I don't like about it so much is I wish there was a glossier paint. It's sort of more like a dull finish which wasn't like that in the prototype. There's the nails. You see it's been in a battle on his right foot. Some of that armor on top of those flip-flops. Again, looks good. Nice weathering, good texture, good paint job. Very realistic battle like, um, you know, damages on this thing. There you go. Some more of that thigh guard. Same thing on that side. All right, and then we have some of his trophies on his chest. They are hunters, so he's got a uh, severed spine, a bunch of different uh, skulls of different creatures, different bones, and it's all basically put around them. So these are removable, they are mixed media, except obviously the bones are all sculpted. They look very nice. There's a lot of options there. On his right hand, he has these claws. They are metal, which I appreciate. His claws on his hands are nice, the paint work on it, the gloves, everything is very, very well done. Again, some of that you know, alien technology, some of that battle damage, very nice. Again, well done. And then you have some of that hair follicles throughout his body, which look really amazing. I don't know what they're made of. I'm assuming they're some sort of plastic, but they look very, very, very good. And they're littered throughout, including on his back. And look at them there. Look at that. The hairs on his back. They're awesome. The back of the cannon, the shoulder cannon, looks great. They really spared no detail on this. There's that big shoulder cannon, right, what holds it. Some of the alien technology, very ancient looking. Look at every detail, every nook and crab. You can see how it works. And this lights up. That's why you see it on right now. Looks very good. I don't think it's necessary. You know, lighter features are okay, but if it doesn't work, it's not the end of the world. And this is his open mandible portrait, which is really my favorite portrait. The only thing I wish they'd done better is, so the inside of his mouth should have been wetter and painted better. The teeth are done exceptionally well. So you see some of the vein work, it's okay. It's not bad. The eyes are nicely done. I always think they're a little too small, but I guess that's the creature design. And the top of his head, you have all those freckles that the predator is known for. And again, some of those hair follicles, they look great. I love the way they did the braids on this. They're absolutely unbelievable. Look at the dreads on this. The dreads are done really well. They're like some sort of like plastic. This must have been a tedious job for them to put them in. 
and then you have those clips and the golden clips it looks really 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 good on his left hand he has that uh, I guess the bomb control the self-destruct control that's lit up right now it does have a light up feature again it's not a must it's painted very nicely it looks good this is plasticky you know it's, it's like a sticker and it kind of looks it but it's not bad otherwise and then his trophy the human trophy looks unbelievable it's a wet bloody look right the teeth are done well i mean this is amazing the white paint and then you have the spinal cord removed and uh all of the leftovers from and you ripped it out it's pretty gross but it looks cool this has a switch out left hand which is basically just open uh i'm never going to use it i'd rather have it like this this is the way i think it looks best and then look at it. the right hand has those blades which are again very nicely done chest is good the armor is great so i'll show you some of the other portraits this is the comic book portrait again they're all done very nicely i don't know that i'm ever going to display this it came with nice head snail portrait stands it came with three different portrait stands which i appreciate as a collector because i can display them these are so cool you want to display them and then this is the closed mandible this was really nicely done as well again they're all very nice I know whether they're all necessary that's a different story but they're all very nice the stands are good they look ancient and this is the one that mostly resembles the movie I think it's done really well this lights up as well let me see if I can get it to light up and there you go it's lit up so he's got the uh, cannon there it looks awesome I love the way the portraits came out Prime One did an amazing job of bringing this statue to life. My biggest complaint was the way it was packaged. Again, it was cheaply done. Luckily, nothing was broken. So I appreciate that. It did have some scratches. Some of the silica bags broke inside the packaging and they went all over the place. So I had to clean this very well before I could put it together. But honestly, other than these scratches, which may or may not be intentional, I think the statue turned out great. Again, I wish the skin tones, they were shinier. They seem to be a little flat. Uh, I can live with it because the rest of the statue is so good and the sculpt is so good. Enough really good details. But don't be fooled. This is a quarter scale statue in name only. This statue is every bit of a one third. Because my XM Studio Supreme Scale, which is supposed to resemble a one third scale, although it's not official, is slightly smaller than this one and I don't mean in height because this one's kind of standing up everything the heads are much bigger on this I'll give you uh, an example so I'm gonna bring this portrait here just so you can see it look at that look how much smaller the one-third portrait is than that quarter scale there's a big difference now I know that's not the only way you measure the uh, size but if you look at the thickness of the legs of the arms of everything this is definitely a lot bigger but I'm not going to complain I think I'm done as far as predators go there's a lot of them out there that I like but this is the one that I'm going to keep and also that uh, predator king if I do sell them one day that'll be that but for now uh, these are, that's my thoughts guys on uh, this amazing statue by Prime One again mostly pros a few cons not many but I hope you guys enjoyed this review let me know uh, your thoughts in the comments till next time